Well, let me ask you this. You were posting, you said, um, videos of you actually making the beats. And because you're a multi-instrumentalist, that's an interesting thing for people to see. I've interviewed other producers who have said the same thing, where because they're making a video of them making the beat, it's it kind of pulls more rappers in because it feels like they're a part of the process. You know, it's kind of like a, almost the feel of being in the studio with you, right? That you're seeing the 100%. performance. Do you, is that more helpful for you? I mean, if you were posting just a picture of like, you know, J. Cole's face with the beat playing in the background, and then you just said, you know, buy this beat now, you probably wouldn't be getting as many sales, right? Absolutely not. I, I 100%, I am convinced that the reason why it was working is because people started developing a relationship with me specifically, and they just enjoyed me as a person. Um, and honestly, if I have to be honest, back in 2018, my beats weren't, weren't that good. <laughs> there were people making way better beats than me. Um, I, I hadn't even been making beats for that long. So I was really not, it, they were really not that great. But uh, because of the personal fan base and interaction that I built with sort of like a community, and a lot of them were rappers at the time, um, then, yeah, they just sort of felt like they were actually directly working with me. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a big one, a big important part of it. And I want to talk more about how, you know, you, you know other producers can, can do the same thing or apply those same elements yeah because it, it depends on your personality right i mean you didn't start out feeling all that comfortable you you said you didn't like your beats i think that's all a matter of, of opinion and subjectivity but you know it, it took some time to develop that yeah and i i think that i think that i mean at first i was i'm not a particularly like you know extrovert person i'm, I'm pretty shy and quiet um and i think that really was the hardest part the hardest part was putting my face in front of a camera and just putting my music out there and just opening up like that. And then the thing that really, it sounds so stupid, but it's not. I think it's actually very important. It's something to think about. The thing that really started everything and got people to even listen to those beats in the first place is the fact that I was doing something slightly different, but that people were able to identify me with and be like, he's the guy that makes beats outside. And every time you saw that on your feed, if you were following me, it would be like, oh, it's him. And you would at least click it and give it a chance and listen to it because you're scrolling through Instagram muted. So it's it's really a visual thing more than an audio thing. The other thing comes after once you decide to listen to something. Um, and so I think that that was that, that played such a big role in that. Just the fact that I was outside and it just looked different than everybody else, and it kind of became my brand for a while. It's not anymore, but it became a, my brand for a while. And yeah, 